Hey guys, I don't even really honestly know why I'm filming this video. It's bedtime. It's nighttime for me. I just ate my dinner of a hard-boiled egg. Um, I honestly have no reason to be making this video. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything or cool. Uh, really, honestly, I thought it would be just like a get unready with me chit chat video because I'm 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 gonna put up a video Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and honestly, I don't feel like putting makeup on right now, and I don't feel like editing a lot, and I don't feel like. I don't feel like fucking any of it, honestly. So I'm just gonna take my shit off and talk to you and hardly edit this at all because that would be so nice not to have to really edit, just to be able to like just straight up upload. Editing takes so long. Oh, I'm just gonna throw my hair up because, I mean, don't you just, that you just do that, right? <laughs> Sumo wrestler hun hair, because you know. Can I just tell you right now? So I went to Victoria's Secret, I'm gonna take my bra off because that's what I do when I get unready. Um, I went to Victoria's Secret and I like went fucking bra crazy. So I went and bought a shitload of bras and fuck, this bra I'm wearing right now is so uncomfortable. I'm gonna show you my boobs right now. Can you see how high up they are? I feel like they're suffocating me. Like they are like giant, I got fitted so I had them fit me. For one, I'm just gonna like come off and say, I think that Victoria's Secret people I don't think they're real bra experts like they say they are because bitch fitted me as a 38 triple D. You tell me these titties are triple D? Like I really don't think they are. I really don't think they are quite triple D. She says they were though and I obviously bought like three bras that were triple D and so four bras. <laughs> I think I got a couple of double D's and those are way more comfortable. These triple D's make my boobs look way too big. And like, I'm at work and I'm just not into it. Like, I just, look at this bra. Look at that. Look how fucking big it is. And yeah, I'm wearing a new bra, but look, I mean, it's so padded. Like, I have, if I have truly, really honestly have triple D boobs, the fuck would I want to pad them? Why would I want bigger, but I mean like literally it's the size of my face. I just don't understand it. I just don't. I'm gonna put this shirt back on. I'm gonna take this off. I'm seriously naked on camera right now, but yeah, fuck it. God, all of you guys out there can probably like totally relate to me. Free the titties, free them boobies. So I bought these little Rite Aid renewal things. They're nighttime calming makeup remover wipes. They suck, like they are not calming for one. The smell is fine, I mean the smell is just fine. I feel like a makeup wipe should do what a makeup wipe should do. Um, that didn't make any sense, but like I feel like I have to scrub too much with these. They're not very wet, like, like for what they do, like I mean I guess it removes the makeup, but it's just like you can like sit there like with it on your eye forever and it's not, it, like, I feel like it just doesn't do anything. Mad Eye, you're fine, honey. It's so sad. Mad Eye, when I'm not next to him or like around him, he cries, he cries so hard. Like, I was outside one day and I don't, I'm never home and like outside, like I don't hang out outside a lot. I'm usually inside, like sitting on the computer. But I was outside and I could just hear him just screaming inside the house. And I asked my husband, I said, does he do that every time that I'm outside? And he says like every time. He just sits at the door screaming because he just wants me so bad and it just hurts my heart. Like he's just crying because he loves me. Oh my God. Okay, eyelashes coming off. That's a, such a good feeling. You guys tell me if you like that. Like it's so bad. Like I'm not supposed to pull on my eyes like that, but fucking makeup remover wipes don't have any like wetness to them so they can't even assist me. See like, like look, I'm like rubbing my makeup off and like it's not doing shit. Like yeah, it looks like it is, but it's like, it, they suck. It was the busiest fucking day at work ever, ever.
Oh my God, it was so busy, you guys. Like every five seconds I had clients in the door. It was insane, because I work at a vet hospital, if you guys don't know, if you're a new subscriber. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a receptionist at a veterinary hospital. And because we're a hospital, we get a lot of emergencies in. And oh my God, today was a sad day. I cried at work and everything. Like, you gotta be prepared to cry, because if you think animals are cute, try seeing them be hurt or have to be put down like it's not you're like i want to work with animals because i love them like no do you want to see them die because that's what's going to happen like not all the time i mean you get dogs in that like don't die but yeah i mean it's just so sad like i don't know i just hate it like i just wish that all animals could just live forever like i am such a soft heart when it comes to animals like i just can't even handle it and Sometimes though, their owners are fucking retarded. All I have to say is that, like I probably shouldn't even be talking about my job. Like I'm not gonna say where I work on here, but oh my God. People like, you'll get up to the counter because I'm a receptionist, so I have to take their money. Can I just say one more thing about these wipes? You have to rub so hard to get the makeup off that your face fucking burns. I mean, exfoliate the shit out of it, that's for sure, but it's just like dumb. You'll like get a client up at the counter or whatever, and you'll be like, okay, your bill's 87.32, and they'll be like, for what? And you're like, um, for all the shit we just did for your dog, like I don't really know the question here, like on the fucking flea medication, uh, the exam the doctor did, like people who have animals feel like doctors shouldn't get paid to do an exam, but like he just sat in the room with your dog for 30 minutes, feeling its joints and its bones, listening to his heart, looking at its ears, like he deserves like to get money for that. So I really feel bad for all these dogs and cats. Some people will just shoot them or some people will just leave them, you know, without care. I mean, we get that all the time. We have people surrender their pets all the time because they just can't, they just won't take care of them. And I understand some people are in bad situations and people have really kind hearts, but honestly, if you don't, if you can't take care of your pet, like, Okay, this conversation took a really dark turn really fast. So now I'm going to put on my Josie Marin Argon Milk. I should probably go wash my hands. Meh, yeah, fuck it, I'm not gonna wash my hands. Um, I talked about this in my favorites video, which I will link. I'm down to the bottom of my, of my sample jar. Oh my God. So I just basically like put a little bit on each spot of my face and this kind of burns because of this stupid thing. But that's all I do and then I just, rub it in you know but yeah it was mad busy today at work like i am exhausted i legitimately ate a hard-boiled egg for dinner i was like i could cook dinner fuck it i'm just eating a hard-boiled egg <laughs> it was in the fridge like, i'm just like, i'm just over it and i was so busy today like i've been trying to make it a point to drink a liter and a half to two liters no a liter and a half to three liters of water a day because it really helps me with my headaches and I, I barely had a liter today and I really wanted more. I just really like to drink more because I get really bad headaches. And um, yeah, as far as my headaches go, I've discovered that every regular headache I get, not cluster headaches as much, but every regular headache I get is totally exacerbated by sugar. Exacerbated means making it worse. No, brought on by sugar. So I can't eat sugar at all anymore. I mean, I can't have a bite of fruit, you guys. I can't do anything. No sugar, not even like a nibble of sugar. And it's fucking ruining my life. Like, I haven't had sugar for two months. Nothing, nothing. Like, I had a bite of a cookie the other day and it sent me into a headache. I had some sushi, headache. Like, you guys don't understand. Like, it is, it's so weird to me. Like, I can't, I can't get past it. Um, so I basically have gone to the point where I'm on a zero carb diet, basically. Yeah, I, no, not zero. I eat like 20 grams of carbs a day. I don't even want to be on like a low carb diet though. Like I, that's not what I want my life to be about, but it's the only thing where I don't get headaches. It's so fucking weird. Plus I've lost 20 pounds, which is cool. You can't even tell. And I'm at this point right now, I am so frustrated with my weight loss. Like I could puke in my own face. I am at a stall right now. Like I cannot lose weight. Like I hit 20 pounds lost plateau for the last month and a half like i am on half month maybe i'm not a plateau like i cannot get below the weight that i'm at right now i can't i like i'm like stuck at this number and i know it's just a number but oh man how much a number can like frustrate the shit out of you yeah i i can't get past this number so 
Anyway, that's legitimately, that's all I do to get ready for, for bedtime. Oh, and I brush my teeth and stuff, you know. I'm such a liar, I just lied to you. I don't fucking brush my teeth at night. I should. Why don't I? I don't because I'm just so lazy. Oh, and I take my pills, so let me go get my pills. I'll just go get my pills. So I take a plethora of medications at night, which include vitamin A, omega-3 fish oils, vitamin D, magnesium, calcium citrate, and biotin. <sighs> yes, I take them all at once because I don't like popping a single pill at a time. And if you're wondering, it's 19 pills at once in my mouth. I look so fat right now, like, oh, I just feel so defeated, you guys, like, help me. Because I can't eat carbs, right? So I'm on like a low carb diet and it looks like Adkins. It's like Adkins, but it's like ketogenic or whatever. It doesn't make a damn bit of difference. I lost strength, I, like, I can't. I've been exercising, I went to the pool, I went to the gym, I went to the climbing gym, I fucking lifted weights, I went on a bike ride for like four hours, nothing, like not a pound, like I gained two pounds. Okay friends, I'm gonna go, because this is the most random video I've ever filmed. But you know, I just, then you guys just tell me, just tell me, be honest with me, but be nicely honest because I get my feelings hurt. Um, my videos fucking suck. Like, that's all I'm gonna say, like, yeah, the quality's fine, like, my camera's nice, and, like, the lighting is better. Right now, it looks like shit. I mean, it could be brighter, but it's nighttime, and I'm just, like, not into it. But I just want to, like, I feel like, what do you guys want to see? Like, what videos do you want to see? Like, are you like, oh, God, I really wish Christy would do this video, or I wish she wouldn't do this video? Like, please tell me, like, I want to know what you guys want. If I had a neck, everything would be good in my life. Like, I'm just gonna stop and say that right there. Like, if my neck just was like, like, like that is my, like, it's literally a head on its shoulders. There's no neck. Anyway, what videos do you guys wanna see? Please let me know. Also, sorry for the randomness. I'm just gonna go put this into the computer and put it up on the internet, cause, you know, YouTube. I love you guys. Please subscribe if you are not. And if you are not, I'm shocked that you sat through this video. If you're a subscriber, Fucking love you. If you're not a subscriber, fucking love you too. Also, follow me on Instagram. I look like a hot ass bitch on Instagram. You can see this here. And this no neck. But on Instagram, I'm like, it's just like so much different. Like it's just so not real life on Instagram, but it's fun to see how somebody can transform themselves. Cause I can transform this shit into like, Balling, ballingest face ever. So anyway, I'm gonna fuck off now. So I love you all and I will see you Friday maybe? I mean, I'm supposed to do a video Friday, but Friday is the 4th of July. And I'm, I'm gonna do a video Friday. All right, goodbye.